What's up guys, it's Tony G 23 here and we're back today for a new video um, on F1 2014. Um, first of all, I'd actually like to apologise about my lack of videos over the past two weeks. I've had stuff to do regarding college uh, and work and, and apprenticeships even. So it's been very busy for me over the past couple of weeks and I'm sorry I've not been able to upload any videos in that time. But today... We have got an F1 2016 mod, uh, which I'm going to show to you today. We're going to be playing as the Haas F1 team. And I'm thinking we will go for Grosjean. Or, no, I'm going to go Gutierrez. So, yeah, I, I've not played as Gutierrez in some time. And, yeah, it, it, this mod, um, before I really go any further, this is a mod for the F1 2014 game. So, the last time I did a mod showcase like this, I, um, it was back in 2015, and I got a lot of stick in the comment section saying, this is not 2015, this is 2014, why are you showing me this? And it's, it's a mod, basically. If you, don't want to, if you don't know what a mod is in the PC community, in the PC gaming community, then what are you doing with your life? If you don't know what that is, you should be playing on a PC. You just shouldn't. So, um, I'm... Cl uh, so uh, yeah. Anyway, we're going through a bit of a randomizer at the moment, and pretty much what I this is I I did this I pre-recorded this, and I basically just closed my eyes now, and selected the track. So basically, when I open my eyes, I'm basically going to be racing at that particular track. So I don't know what are we going to do. What are we going to do? Come on. Um. Yeah, I've. Pretty much still got my eyes closed. I'm actually wondering how long did I have my eyes closed when I was doing this. But anyway, um, so the circuit we're going to be doing is uh, any second now we'll find out. God knows how long I took. It is is actually bloody funny how long I took doing this. It's actually kind of idiotic. And it we're doing Monaco. Crap! Crap! This is my first race on F1 2014 since my career mode finished and we're going to Monaco. So, I've, I've not played this game in over a month or so. And we're in Monaco with 22 cars, not 20. So, I honestly have no idea what's going to happen at all so we're, we're not gonna we're just gonna cut straight to the grid to be honest uh hamilton on pole uh our teammate grosjean in 17th we're in 18th um i should actually say at this point um for this database for this save file even i've had a go at editing the car's performances so it's going to be totally unrealistic so it's um so yeah, you may see uh, a McLaren fighting for, this, fighting for the podium. I'm not exactly sure. Coming into the first corner. And I've completely forgotten we've got realistic damage installed in this. And this is going to make life so much more fun. There goes a puncture. And we've gone into the barrier. Oh, great. This is going to be a fun afternoon for me. Attempt number two. Uh, okay, now I'm going to be a little more careful this time um, because of realistic damage. Uh, so that's just made my life so much nicer. So coming into the. Oh my god! Oh my god, what? We're not even at the first corner! What was that? Oh, it had to be Maldonado. Oh, my goodness. Look at all that. It had to be Crash Door Maldonado. He, yeah, I know he's not in F1 anymore, so there may be some irregularities with this mod, but just look at this. He knows the, that gap was closing. Look at it. He knew that gap was closing, and the frame rate has completely given up, and then all... Oh, shit goes down so look look at this uh, he knew he knows that gap was closing but he thinks no I'll still try and fit my uh, f1 car into a gap that's clearly not big enough 
for a Formula 1 car. And by the time I realise it's too late, I'm already into the side of my teammate. And there he goes. Thank you, Grosje. Thank you, uh, Maldonado. Still causing crashes even, even though you're not in Formula 1 anymore. That's absolutely brilliant. And there go the two mana racing cars. And we go in and then we um, completely take out Marcus Ericsson as well. I'm surprised we didn't get terminal damage. Right, attempt number three. And we've got to be really careful of Maldonado now. Now that we know of his full destructive capabilities. So, lights out and away we go again on the Principality. And we're going to try and block off Maldonado. And we look to have done... And we've made it to the first corner without incident, okay? And don't know why that was an illegal. And we've lost our front wing. And we've got terminal damage. That's the big three right there. And, yeah. Yep, um, that's, um, that's, this is putting a crimp on my day. It really is. There goes a Salba. And then we, uh, then we spin around in there. And we go into the side of another mana car. If this keeps up, I am going to go full X Matty G rage mode. I really am, and I don't want to do that. I really do not want to do that. Okay, this is attempt number four, and I've got a very, very, very good feeling about this attempt. And Maldonado's trying to go up, and yeah, we cut later on into the lap, later on into lap two, I should say. Uh, and we did actually manage to get through the first corner without incident. So, um,. That's all uh, very, very good. Uh, Maldonado didn't actually try and rear-end us there. So, uh, we've got Max Verstappen in the in the Toro Rosso all over, all over our gearbox. Um, it, it, it's turning out to be very on. Whoa, whoa, Jesus! What was that? What on earth? The McLarens were having a tea party at the chicane. Wow! Since when did I become this crap at Formula 1? Honestly! This is... I do not know how many attempts we've had at this. I am basically doing my own version of Survive Jesus Christ! Je Another all oh, race has stopped. The race has been stopped. That was a big one at the first corner. Wow. So we we're gonna restart. And I, I was about to say I'm basically doing my own version of Arava's Survive series. We're doing Survive Monaco F1 2016 Mod Edition. So this is um, turning out to be a very, 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 very stressful for me. It honestly is. So, oh, Verstappen, don't crash. Don't turn into me. Someone's lost their front wing end plate. And I, I just do not know what's going on. Um, Button going as slow as a snail there in the McLaren. And we're going to try and go down the inside of him. Looking to go down the inside of Hulkenberg as well. But that didn't really bode well for us. But we do get go down his inside at the hairpin. Um, no hairpin time, unfortunately. So maybe that's that's a bit of good news. Okay, we do not have a massive cluster fuck of cars at the hairpin. So to be honest, now I'm actually now just nervous. Is there going to be another like car meet down at the chicane where bits of shrapnel and carbon fiber exist? No, there isn't. Cutting the chicane, and I just don't care at this point because I am absolutely pissed off with myself so much. Because I can't do a god a goddamn three lap race at Monaco, so yeah, cutting. Sh I I really don't care this much now. So really, I I just don't want to like just totally crash my car uh, because I've been doing this for just over half an hour now, and I just am absolutely livid with myself. Because I can't do a race at Monaco. So, it's just boring. This entire race has just been, yeah, like, 
Yeah, there's been more. Trust me, I've the, still. This has been more action-packed than the season of than last year of Formula One. It's been more action-packed than that. So, hopefully, uh, yeah, corner cutting. I don't care if I get a penalty. If you think I shouldn't get a penalty, and if you think you don't like my corner cutting in this video, then you can go fuck yourself. Because I can tell you, I have absolutely had enough of all the crashes and the corner cuts and the AI in this video already. But the good news is we are going to come through and do a goddamn three lap race at Monaco in this new 2016 season mod. And that ladies and gentlemen is how you cross the line. So yes, uh, I have uh, actually very enjoyed, hated frustrated, infuriated, angry feelings while making that video. So, there we go. Uh, Lewis Hamilton wins the race, Felipe Massa in second, Rosberg third, Ricardo in the Red Bull, we come home in seventh, and just look at all the DNFs. Also, there were penalties given out, so that's Julian Palmer who's got a 10 second penalty, and Daniel Kvyat, who also has a 10 second penalty, and just look at those DNFs. Wow, the last time I saw that many DNFs, it was in my career mode series at Monaco. So, yeah. Um, anyway, guys, I hope you have enjoyed today's video. Uh, thank you so very much for watching, and I will see you guys in the next video. Goodbye.